Here we have a very nice looking 2005 Audi A4 1.8 Sport Convertible in blue. Car's in pretty nice condition for its age, as you'll see in the video. If we start with the offside front tyre. Tread-wise on the front, you're looking at around 5 to 6 mil. The tyre looks pretty new. Offside front alloy, you have got some scuffs, unfortunately. You can see there, you've got a bit of a light scuff there. Again on the alloy. And again on that side of the alloy as well. So no signs of any kerbs, just three scuff marks and a few light scratches. I would give it a refurb, but it's not a... Uh, it's not in bad condition at all for its age, to be honest. Looking down the offside of the vehicle itself, uh, we have got two small dinks, which I'll show you uh, in a second. Apart from those, I couldn't see any signs of any other dinks, any dents, or any damage at all to the vehicle. A uh, bit of a scuff here to the mirror cap. A few little stone chips around the front arch. Looking at the driver's door itself. Um, not bad condition at all. A few light scratches on the paintwork, to be honest, but... Uh, Good polish that would fetch them out no problem. But like I said, no signs of any damage whatsoever. Like I said, you've got a small dink down here on the driver's door. And that's not very heavy at all, so you shouldn't have too much of a problem trying to get that out. Driver's door edge, you have got a few um, chips to it as you can see. Um, so those require some touchings of paint. Offside rear quarter, again you have got a few light scratches that would just uh, require a bit of a polish. Small dink here above the uh, rear arch, very small indeed, but again it is there. And again just a few scratches as we move down to the rear tyre. Look at the rear tyre again, it's pretty much a brand new tyre to be honest, you've got over 6mm of tread. So brand new tyres on the offside front and rear. Offside rear alloy, now you have got quite a few bits of paint bubbles on the alloy itself. You can start, see it's starting to corrode now, no signs of any curbing. But again, there is signs of corrosion to the paint on the alloy, so do be aware of that. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle. It is a lovely looking car. Looking on the rear of the car here, you can see the top of the boot's in nice condition, no signs of any dents there. And have a look at the boot, or the back of the vehicle itself. Again, you've got a small dink in the middle of the bumper, you can just about see that there. So quite a small dink or small dent on the middle of the rear bumper there. You've got your rear parking sensors and you have got quite a, a good bit of a, uh, a press in the rear bumper there. You can see it's good size, it's around fingertip size. You can see that it's pressed into the bumper quite well there. So do beware of that, it's quite heavy. Take a look in the boots. You can see, nice condition in the boot, nice and clean. And you do get your spare wheel in there as well, so that's great. Moving around to the near side rear tyre. So it's a very nice looking colour blue. Near side rear tyre, again, pretty much brand new, so you've got way over 5mm of tread. Near side rear alloy, very nice condition. A couple of light little scratches, as you can see but no signs of any curbing whatsoever, so nice condition on the off near side rear. Looking down the near side of the vehicle itself, you have got a small dink towards the near side rear quarter there. Apart from that though, I couldn't see any signs of any other dinks, any dents, and again, especially no signs of any damage at all. You have got a few light scratches to the paintwork again. Car would benefit really from a full body polish and mop just to get these scratches out. Um, door edge there has got a few nicks to it so it just requires a bit of paint. A little bit of corrosion around the chrome trim around the vehicle there. And the same with the back as well so do be aware of that. But uh, again guys for a 2005 plate it is in nice condition. But as you can see a few scratches here and there. Near side front tyre again pretty much brand new so way over 5mm of tread. So all four tyres are going to last you a good uh, while. Little bits of lacquer missing there to the alloy and a couple of scuffs as well, but no signs of any curbing whatsoever. Moving around to the front of the vehicle, you've got a few stone chips to the front bumpers. No signs of any damage though guys, still looks great. Um, some corrosion there to the chrome again. A couple of little minor stone chips that just require some touchings to the bonnet. But again, very nice condition for its age. Taking a look inside the vehicle, of course it is a convertible. 
So you've got the uh, nice beige leather. Look on the driver's seat here. Uh, you may have got some wearing to the holster. To be fair, you'd expect that really from a used car. And you can see some wearing to the leather there as well. But no signs of any damage, guys. No rips or tears. Looking in the uh, rear seats. As you can see, very nice condition as well, guys. No damage to these at all. And to be fair, the leather looks very well for its age as well. You can see it's clearly been looked after the car. In very nice condition in the back. And the same with the front passenger seat as well. And look at the rest of the condition of the vehicle. The dash is all very tidy. All the trim looks very well for its age. The steering wheel is in nice condition, etc. It's a very nice car overall. Step inside, I can show you the mileage, etc. Just get the door shut and get the car started. Now you only get one key with the vehicle. I'm just starting her up. Front right turn signal. So something faulty with that. Starts first time, no problems at all. And as you can see, very low mileage for its age. 67,048 miles on the clock. And as you can see, the only symbol showing is that, uh, that signal failure on the light. Apart from that though, no symbols appearing. Like I said, nice condition to the steering wheel. Pretty simple here, CD and radio. No problems at all with the sound. Still sounds great. Everything functions very well. You've got your heating. All your blowers are working perfectly fine. No problems with those at all. That works great. So everything looks well and works exactly how it should. So what more could you ask for? Manual transmission, taking a quick look at the documents now guys, we'll have a look at the V5, the car's had four owners, believe it or not. MOT certificate here, March 20th 2014, so still a few months left on that. And looking at the service history, uh, we have got plenty of service history. Um, if we start here, you can see Dunna Audi, 11, 23 are going to Audi, you got 34 there, Dunna an independent one. Uh, 42, again. Not special, you've got 44 there, and then you've got some little notepad jot downs here. You can see one done at 61,000 miles here, so it tells you everything it's had and the price, etc. And then another one done here at 53,000 again, all the price and the report as well. So, little printouts there, some service history, and then another little receipt here just for some work it had done at 65,000 miles. So, according to this, it was serviced just under 4,000 miles ago, or 6,000 miles ago, sorry. So, very recently serviced. It's got plenty of service history, to be fair. That is the 2005 Audi A4 convertible, 1.8 Sport. Very nice car for its age, very little work needed doing to it. I uh, just want to show you as well, guys, um, the roof does work perfectly fine. Uh, I have folded it down. Um, runs perfectly fine, works smoothly. And uh, of course, it is a cloth roof. Um, it's in nice condition. Uh, it's showing a little bit of signs of age, but there's no damage to it at all either. So, there we go. Very nice car overall.